Now to the plate, Matt Antonelli. And we're back with another episode of Road to the Show. If you watched last episode, well, I'm wearing the same thing. So I took about 15 minutes off, charged my controller up. Hopefully I have enough juice to get through this. But we're going to play because I'm going away soon. I don't know when this video is going to go up. I don't, I'm not sure yet. But um, put in the comment section below, who's going to win the AL MVP, the NL MVP, the AL Cy Young, and the NL Cy Young? Put it in the comment section below. I don't know who the hell is going to win, but I'd like to hear who you think is going to win. All right. Jed, Jed's throwing for us today. Jed Ramsey. Never heard of you, Jed. I think I Spider-Man Jed last bus trip. You guys don't know what Spider-Man is. Maybe I'll get back to telling my minor league stories. So this might be disgusting. I don't know. Uh, some of you know. If you know what the Spider-Man is, put it in the comment section below. Happened in double A for me. I never got Spider-Man, but I witnessed it. So um, if you're young, you might not want to listen to this. But so Spider-Man, <laughs> Spider-Man. Uh, again, I don't know if this is like a, a known thing by other teams. It might have just been the, one of the kids in our teams. I can't disclose his name. He might be arrested. Uh, but what he would do is when we went on the bus, you know, we're traveling through the night and it'd be very dark. Like you couldn't see anything on the bus. And let's hold that thought for a second because I have to rake. From the stretch. High in the air down the right field line. Long run for the right fielder. That's horrendous. He makes the catch First the when he hit it, the way he followed through, I thought it was a homer. And it's just a deep fly ball. Ready That's foul and caught. Okay. So you're on a dark bus, right? And when you're on like an eight-hour bus ride, you have to go to the bathroom. And so <laughs> anytime there was a young player, I don't know why I'm laughing. Anytime there was a young player that you know just got called up or maybe got sent down. Got called up. I don't know if you're going to do it to a veteran that got sent down. Um, but... When they would go to the bathroom for the first time, this kid in our team would do what he called the Spider-Man. And so, you know, like on a bus, you know, those the spot up top where you can put like your bags and stuff. Well, he would, he would, uh, he had some issues. He would take all his clothes off and he would climb up there and he would put, he would grab onto it with his hands and he put his feet up. So he's like Spider-Man essentially. And he would turn so that he's looking towards the front of the bus and his butt, I guess, would be towards the back of the bus. And so he'd go right in front of the bathroom. And so when you would come out of the bathroom, right, you can't see anything and you're tired, it's the middle of the night, you come out of the bathroom, you walk like a couple of feet and then all of a sudden, you walk right, right into him. And uh, now that you gagged, um, that was the Spider-Man. He used to do it to all the young guys who just got called up. So luckily for me, when I got called up, there were some other young guys there. And so I witnessed I witnessed the Spider-Man happening. He's safe. Good call. I witnessed the Spider-Man happening to someone. And uh, any time after that, I went to the bathroom. I, I came out of the bathroom with a ninja kick. Okay, kick. Just in, just in case he tried the Spider-Man me. He was going to get a foot right in the you-know-where. So, and I never got Spider-Man. I never kicked them also. I mean, they never tried to do it to me. It's a sick play right there. So that's the Spider-Man. If, if you guys had seen the first season of this, which was in, what, 2019, I think, you would know what the Spider-Man is. I actually have a YouTube video on it, too. You can, If you want to see the same story again in a longer format, you can type in Spider-Man. Um, Maybe type in like baseball Spider-Man or something. The thumbnail is of like a little like miniature cartoon Spider-Man. Uh, well, they're really all cartoons, aren't they? But it's a freaking rocket shot. I did smoke that ball. Thank you, sir. Back, 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 back. I pressed back. I pressed back. I pressed back. I pressed back. 
Run, Matt! I pressed it back. I pressed it like seven times. This game is rigged. They're trying to keep me in AAA forever. I pressed back, in case you were wondering. Hit out towards second. Reined in. And a good throw gets him one gun. Freaking sabotaging my career. Now into the box, Samuel Guzman. He went down looking in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Oh my God, Dorn! Get down on the ground. What is Get that? The ball for this man. He needs to put that on the mantle. He's been struggling. The season hasn't gone. Get the ball for that man. Get two balls for the third baseman. Oh my God, that's terrible. That's just horrendous. I mean, that's grounds for, for dismissal from the team as well. Like, that's the effort you're going to give. First off, I mean, why are we even opening up like that? Can I? Just work under the ball. You don't have to go anywhere. He got like a nice long hop. Just get down. I don't see the need for, for turning like that unless you're going to drop step, but he's not drop stepping. Just get on the ground, man. Work below the ball. And now the first pitch. No, no, no. That ball center. was right there, and I moved again. Bird comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for route number two. <laughs> So here's the clean. <sighs> Brian Navarrete. Couple of walks for him thus far. Navarrete. Sent on the ground out to second. Scooped up. And there are two away now. Good hustle. Good effort. Next to Let's go, Matt. Matt Antonelli flew out last time up. Thanks for reminding me, Matty B. How about this time up? He's set. Here it comes. First pitch fastball. <laughs> and missed 0 and 1. It's not and Matt swings on the throw back to the pitcher. That could be an effective location as long as he the, the too late bar, the swing timing bar, wasn't big enough to put how late Matt was. The 0 1 on its way. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's 1 and 1. Gotta relax. I'm like so tense right now. <sighs> relax, Matt. Deep breath. In too much. Come on, bleed for me. Bleed. It was in. I didn't go in. I just went down. Gray. G-R-A-E. I don't know if I've seen that one before either. Hit hard. That was the most inside-out swing I've ever seen, Matt. Wow, the, um the umpire gave a... He gave like a freaking haymaker right there. Like, what kind of out call is this? I mean, I appreciate it, but good hustle. Oh, a big one right there. He even pointed at him. You, in case in case nobody knows, you, the man running the first base, you are out of here. And the follow through, very impressive. All right, they're going to run here. They're going to run. Let's move over a little bit. I told you. I told you. I told you. That away. Told you they're running there. They can't trick me. It ain't my first rodeo. I felt bad I said that to somebody once. I still remember this. I was coaching. I just... I was actually still playing pro ball, and I was helping out with, like, a travel ball team. And, uh, one of the coaches didn't get me mad. I liked this coach. I didn't know him super well at the time. Um, but I didn't get mad. I just, I don't know. I felt, I guess, like they were trying to, like, call me out for something, which I clearly knew. I was teaching, like, base running or something, and 
And I finished giving my talk and this coach, I don't think it was his intention, but it kind of felt like he was like basically trying to say like, oh, you didn't, you didn't teach this the right way or you didn't teach this. And so I'm going to teach it and said something to me and I'm not really giving a good explanation of this. So run, run, man, get there. Give me a hit. <laughs> you can't give me a hit on that. I freaking hit it right at the guy, but I hit it really hard. He gave me a base hit. I gave me a base hit. That's exactly what this team's doing. It sounded like that. This is awesome. This is awesome. What movie is that? I don't remember, but okay. I I I take it back, guys. He slid. He slid. I mean, holy hell! Put a glove on that glove. I mean, jeez, buddy. Well, maybe if you didn't make such a distressed face, like, look at your face. What, what, what is so hard about this? You're just sliding. You might want to watch the ball. Does a good throw get me? Yeah, probably. Uh, yeah, probably. It's very close. Man, so they, they dropped the routine ball and threw it in the dirt, and I still got a hit. I love this scorekeeper. Matt's girlfriend's the scorekeeper. Lara's the scorekeeper. Don't let her hear that I have a girlfriend. Oh, God. I was going to say, that looks like Sandy Leone. Wow. They're running. They're running, Matt. Get to the bag, man. Yeah. I did know it. But Matt didn't want to cover the base again. I had ribs tonight for dinner. They're so good. These ribs, right? I get them from a place called the uh, Butchery, I think it's called. Real creative. And um, they're so good. I told Laura today, I was like, what a nice wife she is. I told Laura, I was like, I went and got my hair cut today. I can't, I can't take my hat off. I got these on. But I went and got my hair cut. And right near where I get my hair cut, which is about 15 minutes away, there's like a little place called Crosby's. And... Has a play. And he's Sorry for that explosion right there, guys. Well, I wasn't paying attention. So I was thinking about Crosby. Anyways, I wanted to get a rotisserie chicken there, and I got home, and I forgot I was sitting in my office, and I was like, damn, damn it, Lars. Like, what's wrong? And I'm like, I forgot to get the chicken from Crosby's. And she's like, from Crosby's? Like, why would you want to get there? It's not good chicken. I said, I don't know. I want her chicken. So I said, you know what I should have done? I should have went to the butchery and I should have got a rotisserie chicken. Way to body that ball up. I feel bad for that baseball. It's a grown man it just ran into. Um, so I told Lot, I'm like, I should have went to the butchery and uh, and got a rotisserie chicken. And I said, actually get some ribs. I said, because the ribs are so good there. But this place is like 20 minutes from my house probably. So like, I don't have time. So I went to baseball. I had like six hours of baseball and then I got home. All right, I got home, moral of the story. I got home and there was a rotisserie chicken and ribs on the table for dinner. Laura went and got it for me. What a nice wife she is, huh? I want to tell Laura how nice of a wife she is in the comment section. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. You know what, in fact, I think I'll hit a home run for Laura. Here we go, ready? This guy would throw a strike. Hey, throwing the ball great up into this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his I need a home run pitch here. Get my wife's good graces. You stink. I'm stealing. Go swing. But I'm talking about. They ran the 
risk of a strike him out, draw him out play there, but that was a good job of getting in. Why are you so negative, Dan? On three and two, there's a decent chance the hitter puts the ball in place, so it can be a good time to be aggressive just like that. I got to go back. I got to get back. Run, Matt. Dive, Matt. Dive. Don't throw the ball, man. When do you throw the ball? I mean, someone, can we be vocal or something? Like this guy, you. Don't look at him. Don't spectate. Look over here. Hey, two, 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 two. Someone's got to be screaming here. Two, 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 two. Like, oh, if, catch the ball and find the, the lead runner, man. Got to communicate. And the runner's breaking for third. Now that's popped up. Diaz. That was a pop up. So no runs here, no hits. And now Matt Antonelli and this tie ball game. Maybe I'll hit a home run this step back. Now, and I'm sure you're enjoying that. Bullpens are such a big part. Oh my God! Did I hit a home run for Lar? How is that caught? How is that caught? Next here is Ferrari Encarnacion. Did I get? Did I get a hit today? Is my hit streak over? Nice bunt. Tries to bunt the home runs. Oh no! I hit a single in the first. Oh great. Oh, that's right. I hit that rocket shot. That shouldn't have been a hit. They're not walking me. They might. They might pitch around me. Oh, my God. They didn't pitch around me, guys. It was right there. Had to be sitting something hard right there because he gave up on that pitch, but it was right down the chute. Thanks, Mark. The guy's just going to slider me to death. He just says, listen, I'm either going to slide him to death and strike him out, or I'm going to slide him to death and walk him. You guys hear that? What is that sound? I'm a little scared. I usually don't come down here late at night. It's like a ghost or something. You guys don't hear from me. You know why. Yeah. I must have pressed down too late there because I pressed down but it didn't go down. Oh my god, I'm up again. This is a game that will never end. I need to get a hit here. I need to go two for five. I cannot go one for five. Oh my god, I hit it a country mile, but I hit it foul. I just hit on that highway up there. I'm going to hit this one on the bridge. Oh, that's so slow. That's so slow. 74, but it looked like 54. You have to love pitching 2 Multiple ways, up, down, in and out, throw the breaking ball. A lot of different ways to get guys out. Well, you got to throw a little bit more of a competitive pitch than that. I'm not swinging at that. up in this at bat. Now it's time for the changeup. This guy's got a good one, and he hasn't thrown it yet in this at bat. I went down on that one, guys. I'm sorry, but I went down on that one. Man, that's a frustrating one as a hitter. That pitcher missed right there. He did not want to hang that breaking ball with two strikes, and you foul it away. You have to regroup. You're not seeing. Wasn't really a hung slider there, Mark. The next one two pitch. And he strikes oh, it. God, it's so slow. One for five. Extra inning heroics to pull oh, this one terrible. So stepping in is Bryson Brigman. Trying here They're going to bunt it? there? No. From second. Hit out towards second. He's got it. I wanted to throw to third, but. All right, bring the infield in. Let's go. We won? How did we win? They take it in 12 innings on the road. One for five with a walk. Well, that was disappointing, guys. Oh, boy. Time to shine a spotlight on a prospect with some helium, starting to get some major buzz around his future. Al Leiter joins me in Al. 
Are you ready to Jesus. say he's going to be a success at the big league level ben, or not? Ben, if you love me so much, why don't you Could marry be. me? What's I mean, going look, on there's here? There's a reason why uh, people are talking about him. The talent is there. I mean, it oozes all over the place. You see the athleticism. You know what they're capable of uh, with respect he's good looking to what also. scouts like. And it's usually like Male the model. package. You know, does he have the it factor? And I think that's what we see. He does. But I think you have to be careful and you have to slow down because sometimes the famous kid who was ranked since high school or college or all these different rankings Birth. there, you know, they haven't they haven't played in the big leagues yet. And I think oh, sometimes shut up, that gets ahead of actually what they're actually doing. I can't on the be awesome in the big leagues so until you I really go to the big leagues. You really have to be careful of, 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 yes, appreciate the talented player, but let's not put him in the Hall of Fame yet. They haven't played in the big leagues yet. And it's unfair to start comparing them to some of the game's greats before they even set foot on a major league field. Sometimes the kiss of death. I mean, you know, I, I hear you hear some really that's why I never like to do that. You look at a guy, we always try to do comps, right? I look at guys and I say, I want to comp this player to somebody who I know or played with or, you know, a legendary player. It's really unfair because if that gets legs and the kid hasn't done anything yet, it could really hurt them. I agree with that. For me, prospect schmospray. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. All I know is I like known commodities, and um, especially when it comes to hitters. Pitchers may be a little bit different, but hitters, I just think hitting at the big league level is really, really hard. And, um, I mean, are there certain guys that feel like they're like can't miss guys? I don't know, maybe, but there's a lot of guys that you know are really good hitters, either in college, in the minor leagues, whatever, and they don't turn out to really do anything in the big league. So I agree with you. I'd probably trade all my prospects away. If you've enjoyed this video and want to learn more about building the elite swing, check out our new course. We have over two hours of content, almost 30 hitting drills. We break down the exact mechanics that you're going to want to implement into your swing. I've put the link in the description if you want to go check it out.